What's good, Boxing Clinic family? We back. It's your boy CJ Goodfellow, and we speaking on so Gennady Golovkin, early morning grind. Y'all know what it is. We do them early morning sessions. And it seems like the WBC, Mauricio Suleiman Jr., is orchestrating a bum bash for Gennady Golovkin on May 5th. I'm going to link two articles in the description, but the main one you want to look at is the one with Sergei Shevchenko. Um saying that uh, basically Mauricio Suleiman Jr. and Shevchenko and Lou DiBella all going back and forth. Lou DiBella is Shevchenko's promoter, um, and he wants Shevchenko to get the Gennady Golovkin fight May 5th. But Mauricio Suleiman Jr. says it's unfair for Golovkin to turn around and have to fight a tough fight, um, you know, on short notice. But at the end of the day, you know, he got to defend. He got a man. He got a mandatory. He got to defend too. You know, and the thing about the mandatory that that he has to defend, in my opinion, is it's like this. You know, if you're gonna fight a bum with three belts, you can't do that. You have to fight a high money fight that makes sense, like Canelo. You got to fight a mandatory or a unification bout. He ain't doing none of three of those guys. So he basically wasting time. And now they moving the venue from from uh, Vegas to Carson, California, to the StubHub Center. Just scrap the date and come back and fight a formidable opponent like Billy Joe Saunders. Period. But they don't want to do that. Now, Billy Joe Saunders don't look like The Walking Dead no more. They're not really looking for that fight. They holding out for a Canelo fight. And the WBC is orchestrating this shit so they can get a big chunk of the pie with Canelo and Triple G. And Ronnie Shields said, you know, Jamal Charlo acquired about fighting Triple G. And so, and Mauricio Tumont told him to wait. So he's going to be waiting forever for that belt. He ain't going to get that belt, you know. You really not. He's going to be an interim title holder. And he might as well go try to try to fight in the WBO. But, I mean, shit. He basically, when Golovkin, you know, Golovkin going to hand him that belt. That's basically what's going to happen. And... You know, it's crazy, though. they protecting this guy so they can get a piece of the pie versus Canelo. When the rematch happens, we all know that rematch with Canelo going to happen. You know, the lowdown is he going to be suspended for six months. He's going to be backdated to, like, the end of February, March. He's going to be back uh, eligible in August, and they go going to fight in September. So that's all the re- Risa Suleiman joint WBC. We be crooks for real. We be cheats. All that, man. Like, like this this sanctions bell body is crap under, under the junior. I'm not saying it was the great under the father, but the junior is doing a um, junior is doing a, a piss poor job in my opinion. You know, you know, just scrap the fight day May fifth, man. If y'all not going, if Triple G not gonna find nobody important, just scrap it, just scrap it, dog. Nobody want to see Gary Spike O'Sullivan and Jamie Maguire, whatever that guy's name is. Nobody want to see that shit. Now they now they realizing that people don't want to see it, and they gonna say, oh, we could we HBO can find the money for the fight. It don't have to be pay-per-view. And, and now they're moving into the StubHub Center because they know Vegas don't give, don't want that fight there. They don't want no bum-ass fight there on Cinco de Mayo. So they got to move it to Carson, California. And nobody want to see them fight Gary Spike O'Sullivan. Come on, even on regular HBO on Cinco de Mayo. I mean, why would y'all do Mexican people like that? Why would you have Triple G fight an Irishman who already quit versus Eubanks Jr.? Why not at least give the Mexicans a formidable foe? A good fight. But they're not going to do that. You know, Richard Suleiman Jr. at WBC, we be crooks. They ushering in this 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 this, this new boxing, you know, of protecting the fighter for the money. They all about the money. Come on, man. One of these two two guys should be getting a shot. You know, real talk. You know, it's about, oh, you know, you know, you're going to have to wait. How you going to tell a guy to have to wait? And when a lot of people don't know this, when Jamal Charlo be uh, Jorge Sebastian Highland, Highland had been waiting three years for his mandatory shot. Between Cotto fighting that super Canelo weight and, and defending his belt, the same with Canelo, to Triple G. Triple G was handed the belt, hasn't been able, hasn't had to fight one mandatory. But when when, when the other Charlo brother, Jamal, won the belt from John Jackson, he had to do two consecutive mandatories. You see the double standards in the in a, in a, uh, inconsistencies of the WBC, we be crooks. They got to get it together, man. Jamal going to be waiting a long time for that belt, man. A long time. Because it's obviously Marisa Suleiman Jr. and we be crooks. WBC is favoring Canelo and Triple G heavy. They're making the rules as they go. They can just scrap the rule book and just get the belt to them and they can defend it. That's why we need two new belts. We need to get rid of these three, four belts 
and bring in two new belts, and those, and those would be the belts. And then to get a third developmental belt for the youth or the, or the young fighters coming up. But it's no excuse why you shouldn't be fighting two of these guys on May 5th or push back or May 5th. It's no excuse. Both guys are ready. But we know WBC. They just want some of that Canelo Triple G rematch money. And I told you rematch going to be bigger than the first one. But we gone.